Hello everyone, I'm KB Kwan from TasteAsianFood.com. Today, I want to show you how to use crab meat and tofu to cook a dish. It is called Hai Pa Tofu. It is a Cantonese home cooked dish. But the principle to cook this dish can also be used to cook some high level cuisine, such as crab meat soup, shark fin soup, and it's served during the Chinese banquet. So, let me show you how to do it. I'll start the preparation by cutting the tofu into pieces. Cut it into one to one and a half centimeter thick. I'm using the Japanese egg tofu today, but you can use any other kinds of tofu as long as it is not too soft that it will break into pieces in the pan. Next, bring a pot of water to a boil. Add some rice wine and two pieces of ginger. And then add the crab meat. I'm using the frozen crab meat, but you can always use the fresh one if you have it, it's even better. The rice wine and the ginger helps to remove any unwanted smell of seafood. Let it boil for just a little while, half a minute. When it comes to the boil again, switch off the stove and transfer the crab meat through a wire mesh trainer. Now let's prepare other ingredients. Two dry Chinese mushrooms. This is soaked overnight. Squeeze out the water. Remove the stem. and cut the mushroom into small dices. Also cut the carrot into julienne, like this. Cut the leek into slices. Heat up some oil in the pan, and then add the chopped garlic and slices of ginger saute it until it becomes aromatic add the carrot and the leek keep sauteing for a short while And then add the chicken stock. When the chicken stock starts to boil again, add the mushrooms. The blanched crab meats. Season with salt and white pepper. Now it's time to add the tofu to the pan. Be careful not to break the tofu. Let it just Braise like that for a minute or two. Meanwhile, make some cornstarch slurry. I have two teaspoons of cornstarch over here, and then add another two tablespoons of mushroom water, the water that we use to soak the mushroom, which is very flavorful. We are going to use the cornstarch slurry to thicken the gravy. Now it comes to the final step. Add the green peas. Then one egg white.
and then some sesame oil, Shaoxing wine, and black vinegar. And finally, add some cornstarch slurry to thicken the sauce. Alright, it's quite thick now, so it's ready to serve. A very simple Cantonese style dish, crab meat with tofu. Crab meat with tofu is the everyday home cooked food for the Cantonese. Best to serve with steamed rice. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you like the crab meat and tofu recipe. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscription button and give me a like. And yeah, if you want to get the recipe, just follow the link that I have included in the description right below the video. So I'll see you again in the next video. Until then, bye for now.